Please welcome Stephen Pear, BitPay. There we go. Uh, so, uh, thank you. I, I, today I wanted to share just a, a brief update on BitPay's business. Um, we're actually a five-year-old company in the Bitcoin and blockchain space. We actually, almost to the day, we incorporated the company May 31st of 2011. So that makes our team perhaps uh, the oldest and most experienced team in the Bitcoin and blockchain space. So today I wanted to share a few growth stats with you, uh, as well as a few of our recent product innovations. Um, and I'll also have a new product announcement. So I think I have to point over here to get the guy over there to <laughs> move my uh, uh, prompter here. Um, they're on two different systems. Uh, for those of you that might not be familiar with BitPay, uh, we are the uh, world's number one Bitcoin payment processor. Uh, we process more transactions every day than uh, all of the other Bitcoin payment processors out there uh, probably combined. We have uh, a suite of tools that allow you to do both payment acceptance as well as payment disbursement. Um, some of you might know us best for our e-commerce tools. In fact, some of you might have even paid for your registration to this conference using our platform. Um, but we also have in-person payment tools. We have solutions for payroll companies. We also have tools that allow people to manage or companies to manage mass payouts all over the globe. We also have business-to-business -business billing tools, for, uh, primarily for supply chain payments. And what a lot of people might not know is we have our own wallet. It's called Copay. Uh, and we believe it's the best wallet platform out there. So, and I'll talk a little bit more about Copay in a minute, but first I wanted to talk about some of our transaction growth over the uh, last few years. So this chart goes back to 2013. Uh, and it shows our monthly transaction volumes. It's also, it also has the Bitcoin price overlaid with it. And you can actually see that there's a correlation that when the Bitcoin price takes off, we see a big jump in our transaction processing numbers. So it's kind of the wealth effect where when the price of Bitcoin is higher, it stimulates economic activity. People want to spend their Bitcoins or use their Bitcoins. And so we see it on our platform as a, you can see there in 2013, we had a really sharp run up in, the, uh, uh, in our transaction volumes. Now what happens when the Bitcoin price then stabilizes after that, we see uh, a drop in our transaction volumes, but usually it's a, a mean reversion back to a level that's actually higher than what it was before. And what's happening there is somebody that may have been speculating in the price of Bitcoin, holding Bitcoins as an investment, sees the price go up and decides they want to use it to buy things. And then they do a few transactions and they see how easy it is. And so then they tend to become repeat customers of those businesses. Uh, so as you can see, uh, this chart is only up to March, um, but we have just set a new all-time record in monthly transaction volumes. And you can see many months over the past few years uh, we've been setting new records in terms of transaction volume, and I expect April will be uh, even higher uh, in a new record. Uh, on average, we process over 4,000 transactions per day and over 100,000 transactions per month. Uh, now, this is small compared to MasterCard and Visa, but for our small team, we're really excited about this. And uh, <laughs> we're a little bit out of sync here. Um, so uh, an another product that, you, that uh, is lesser known, but we've been focusing more on recently, is Bitcoin mass payouts. <clears throat> this product allows you to easily manage, um, a, a company to easily manage um, payments to a large number of re recipients all over the globe. So think about app stores where they may need to pay developers that are located all over the planet. Um, the, our solution is much cheaper, much easier to manage, much simpler than the systems that companies are currently having to deal with. So we serve some companies, a few examples are a company in Germany that's a payroll processor called Pay, uh, and then a, um, a video game skin marketplace or in-game 
uh, trading site called Opskins. A lot of people <laughs> trade uh, CSGO items on that site. These platforms, you know, a, a platform like Opskins allows people to make a deposit, trade their swords and their cloaks and whatever, their weapons, uh, and then also withdraw through our platform uh, in Bitcoin. We launched this product in the beginning of 2014, and over the last year we've seen a 2,600% growth in this, 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 this product. It has a robust pipeline. We have new customers signing up every day uh, and every month. Um, and we're really excited and we expect to continue that growth. The next product is B2B billing. Uh, since, and actually, this product we've had since our launch back in 2011. So we've had business to business billing for you know, the entire history, five years. Um, this represents about 10% of our volume. Uh, and it's a very important component of our service offering and one which we're you know, putting more emphasis on and focusing uh, a lot of our efforts recently. Uh, these transactions tend to be about 25 times larger in value than a, a typical consumer transaction. And so that means we can go out and sell businesses that need to do supply chain payments. Maybe it's a company that needs to pay a vendor that's located in another country and they find our platform and our billing solution a much cheaper, much faster, more and more cost-effective way to get that done. It, it really just simplifies that whole process for these companies. And so we, these companies find tremendous value, especially where cross-border and uh, cross-currency payments are, are involved. So it, it's 10% of our current transaction volume, and we expect that to grow uh, much larger this year. Uh, so one of the segments that we're really excited about as a company is the video gaming segment. Um, we've seen some incredible success here. Uh, it, just in the last year, we've seen seven, a 700% growth in the uh, number of uh, transactions uh, that are somehow related to video gaming. Uh, we now process transactions for the largest and best known uh, gaming platforms, including Wargaming, G2A, and Steam. In fact, we launched Steam last week, just last week. Um, and, and this segment is really just ideally suited for Bitcoin payments. You tend to have a customer base there that is young and often doesn't have bank accounts. So this makes it very easy for them to buy their games. Uh, in the case of Steam, it allows them to top up their Steam account and then buy whatever video games on the Steam platform. And just to give you an idea of the significance of this, um, a lot of people refer to Steam as the iTunes of video gaming. It's really big. And you know, one of the really cool things is it, my, my kids just think it's cool. Uh, so they're, they're really excited about it. Um, so we're starting to see this network effect among these different game companies. So uh, companies can now start to integrate with one another in their payment system more directly. So somebody can sell a sword on one site and then use those bitcoins to then deposit and make a purchase of a game on another site. I said Steam was the iTunes of video gaming. Uh, I've challenged my team to sign up the iTunes of iTunes. Um, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so that's video gaming. Um, I mentioned Copay earlier. This is our wallet platform. Uh, we launched this a year ago. Um, and we're really excited. I think, uh, you know, this is uh, one of the best wallets, if not the best wallet in the space. And uh, it's got a number of unique features that are not found in other wallet applications. First of all, it's got a, a fantastic user interface. Um, we've tried really hard to simplify it to make every button work, every, every operation as simple as possible to really step back and do a lot of user acceptance testing and make sure this product is just as simple as we can possibly make it. One of the features that it has that not a lot of other, or I don't know if any other uh, wallet application has, is that you can actually have multiple wallets. You can have a wallet that stores your personal funds, you can have a wallet that stores your business funds, um, and so you can create as many wallets in a single application as you want. And now in addition to being a great single user wallet, Copay is also a multi-user wallet. So this means you can create wallets with shared funds, so think about if you want to have your family manage funds together uh, or you want to curate your child's spending. So I mentioned the gaming space. You can actually create a shared wallet with your child 
and see what they're spending online. Uh, or a business could use it to securely manage their corporate treasury as, as we do at BitPay. So one great feature of Copay is that you can buy or sell Bitcoin directly from within the application. We introduced this a few months ago with a company called Gladera. And just a couple weeks ago, we've added uh, Coinbase. So if you have a Coinbase account, you can link it to your Co uh, Copay wallet. And you can very easily, with just a few clicks or touches uh, of a button, uh, buy or sell Bitcoin. Since we launched Copay, we've steadily improved Copay with the objective of adding about one you know, great new feature every month or so. Um, and, and today I really am confident in saying that Copay really is the best wallet platform out there. Um, you, it's really fantastic. You should just, you should go check it out. It's in all the app stores. Uh, you can go to copay.io and install it. It works on every desktop and mobile operating system out there. So check it out. So I mentioned we were going to announce a new product. Uh, since we started BitPay uh, five years ago, uh, we've prided ourselves on giving people more ways to use their Bitcoin. Because we believe that if you can use Bitcoin in more ways, it, it makes Bitcoin itself more valuable. So uh, um, a lot of people say that by adding new merchants, you're inducing people to sell their Bitcoins and it drives the price down. But it's actually just the opposite. Um, if you have more ways that you can use Bitcoin, more people are interested in actually holding and using Bitcoin. So we do recognize, though, that it's going to take some time before all businesses start accepting Bitcoin. And we want to make it even easier to use Bitcoin, uh, even at companies that might not already accept it. So uh, today we're launching the BitPay Visa debit card. With this card, users can instantly convert Bitcoin to U.S. dollars and spend anywhere that Visa is accepted. It's compatible with all Bitcoin wallets, so you don't need a special account at some exchange uh, to link up with this card. You can use any, it's any of the Bitcoin wallets that are out there, your favorite one. It also comes with a great mobile user interface for managing the card. Uh, in fact, we think it's the best mobile experience of any card program, Bitcoin or otherwise. The best part is that it's free to load value using Bitcoin onto the debit card. Uh, uh, so the Bit BitPay Visa debit card is available starting today in all 50 states. Uh, you can visit bitpay.com slash visa to get started. Um, and that's our update of BitPay. So thank you all. And I think there might be a couple minutes for any questions. Are we doing questions? Nope. I don't know if we have a microphone. Or... All right. I've known with other cards there's been issues with, at least in the U.S., having fees for loading and maintenance. Is there any maintenance fees with the BitPay card? Uh, we have on the website a whole schedule of the fees. Um, yeah. As far as I know, there's, there's a fee to, to, uh, to start the card program. There are fees with accessing an ATM. Um, but aside from that, no, loading Bitcoin is, we, we intentionally wanted to make that free of charge. Any other questions? No. Can you take one more question? Okay. okay. Visa solution uh, include international? Uh, no, it's only in the f uh, 50 U.S. states today, uh, as of right now. And also the payroll solution that you have is only U.S.? Oh, the payment solutions. No, uh, we, payroll, we payroll. The, payroll. The, oh, payroll. Payroll. Uh, no, those are uh, available in North America, South America, and Europe primarily. Actually, probably a few other countries outside of those regions. Um, um, talk to us. That's That, that particular product... Um, it depends on the country and the licensing requirements, whether or not that's available. Our payment processing product is available in all those regions. Our payouts and pay payment disbursements depends on, you know, particular uh, licensing requirements that we have. Okay. I think that was it. All right. Thank you.